right, what's up everyone? Back for part eight, taking questions from my subscribers. This one comes from Judy Collins. How's it going, Judy? Judy asks, she says, hello, Captain Ken. I was going over some FAA regulations, rules, and so forth for my info. Can you answer these questions for me? General, how can a pilot stay current with changes in aviation regulations and industry best practices? What steps does a pilot take to ensure fuel efficiency efficiency during a flight. Uh, so to the first part of that question, we, everything, all of our publications, regulations, everything, they're on this thing right here. Um, my company and most companies nowadays issue uh, iPads or some type of tablet for their pilots. But back when I first started flying, 2001, 2002, going through pilot training, we didn't have these. So we, we had stacks of literally stacks of publications that we would have to cart to our home, to our room to study. But now it's all in this and it's so much easier. So when we get updates and everything from the FAA, from our company regarding rules, regulations, changes um, for our aircraft or for um, airspace, anything having to do with what we have to stay abreast of, it's all updated uh, electronically through the company. So the second part of your question, what steps does a pilot take to ensure fuel efficiency during a flight? So our dispatchers, shout out to the dispatchers. Uh, so every major airline has dispatchers, but it's their job to look at the flight, look how long it's gonna be, look at the different things that may be occurring on the flight. Might be weather, um, really high headwinds, whether at the location or at the departure location or at the arrival location, um, all types of di different stuff goes into play. The amount of people that are going to be on the flight, the amount of weight they're expecting, they often they have to look at all those all those factors, and then they calculate a weight or a, a, a fuel quantity that we're going to be taking off with. And we're always looking for the best winds too. So if we have a tailwind, it's going to help out our fuel efficiency. Or if we're going west, where we're going to have headwinds, we're going to try to find, well, the dispatchers are usually looking at this, and they're usually pretty good, but they're going to try to have us at the altitude that has the lowest headwind. Or if we're going east, you know, with the tailwinds, they're going to usually try to have it out as an altitude that has the highest tailwinds. Um, but we are always looking at, you know, different things, uh, altitudes, locations as far as routes, um, to get the best fuel efficiency. There you go.